Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to Andrea's Attic. Tonight we'll be doing part two of our first impressions of Castle Arts pencils. So we're going to be colouring in Colouring Heaven Collection costume book. Um, these three designs are by Fabiana Trier. Um, stunning book. I haven't coloured in this one at all yet, but I like to use my colouring heaven books for when I'm doing my pencil reviews of my first impressions on pencils just because the paper is pretty much the same in every single book doing something in a Jade Summer and then say in a can of Carl's and then in Colour Heaven wouldn't be fair on the pencils so we're going to be colouring in this young lady um, so this is from the 1960s so I'm just gonna We'll start as we always do with her skin. So I've got the three flesh uh, tones sharpened. So I'm going to start with the uh, flesh light and just go and again I have not found these to be scratchy in any way shape or form. I actually quite like them. This flesh light is actually looking quite dark. But that's okay. It's going on very smoothly. It feels very nice, as, as I said before in my um, swatching video when we swatched them. That I thought it was very nice, very light. Uh, that they go on, they do go on very nicely. Still, nothing's changed here. I still like the way they feel. That definitely has not changed at all. I mean, I haven't used these at all, so I've not practiced skin tones with them. So I've got to say that I don't know how this is going to work out, but uh, So far, so good. We'll go on to the normal, which they call just flesh, which should, I think, be darker, but I don't think it is. I think it's actually a lighter colour. I need to look in my book, really. Oh, no, it's technically, it's a bit pinker than, than flesh light. So it's a little bit darker, but not, not a huge amount. We'll see. I'm not going to go too mad on her face because I'm going to give her some some makeup. So some 60s style makeup a bit later on. That looks okay. But uh, yeah, they, they're still going on very, very smoothly. There's nothing that I would say is wrong with these at all. It's very smooth. There's no scratchiness at all in them. I've missed her ears. I always do this. I always miss because they're so small. It is an ear. She's got big ears this girl. It's probably my imagination and I can't see one at all on that side. I can see part of her earrings where it looks like her hair is actually in the way on that side. Lovely. So we'll just uh, do her hands. This hand. We'll leave her nails because we're going to do those But yeah, the, the pencil is going on very nicely. There's no problems with it at all. Mm. Yeah, it goes on very, very nicely, very smoothly, very 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 nice there's no scratchiness at all I really don't understand the people who have said there's some scratchiness I haven't had any at all
not at all so I'm actually enjoying this colour is going down beautifully yeah I like that looks that looks fine so I'm not gonna go too mad on the um the skin today because like I said I'm gonna give her some 60s style makeup so I'm going to find a colour palette that works now I'm going to look for a quite bright colour I want quite a bright pink I'm just have a quick look through my swatch book grenadine rose not sure what colour I want I'm thinking jalapa pink or japer pink it's this one Jal japer 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 just give it a nice sharp point and I'm going to put rose pink with it. Is it rose pink, I think? Which is a lot lighter. Maybe grenadine. That's the wrong one. Grenadine light. Yeah. That one too. So we're going to oops, do her dress. Pencils sharpen very nicely. I, um, I really like them. So just going to do her lapel. These dresses were weird that they had in the, the 60s. They were always very brightly coloured. My mum didn't like this style in the 60s. She would like the 50s more. Missed a bit of her neck there, I think. It's hard to tell. No, I'm not worrying about anything like that. I'm just trying to have a look. So see how this goes down. As you can see it is going down very 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 nicely so I'm just going to make some notes um, because obviously I'm not going to be finishing this all in one one go because I'd be here forever so I'm going to just write on the page opposite very lightly japer pink <laughs> grenadine it we'll do a little bit more it's just so that I'll just do a little bit and then I'll uh, <laughs> so yeah the layering works quite nicely just want to yeah, we'll go with that one better. I think that looks better. So I'm just going to go back over this a second. So we just want to give her a bright, brightly coloured dress. Now these are nice colours. And they would have had very, very, this sort of dress would have been psychedelic almost. So, And the furniture would have been as well. Um, they had very strange, I don't know, it's not my sort of, although I like the dress, I'd wear the dress. If I was thin, I'd wear the dress. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a bit sniffly today. So, yeah. I think the dress is a nice dress. But, yes, it is going down very, very nicely. They do sharpen well to a nice point, they're not crumbling. I'm not putting down a lot of pressure, so obviously <laughs> I'm sure that they would break if I did. There's a little bit of crumble there, but not a lot. It's not crumbling very much at all, which is very nice. Some pencils do, the softer the pencil. For instance, the prisms, they do crumble. I love my prisms, but they do crumble. But these are very nice. Now, unfortunately, these aren't available open stock. It would be great if they were. So, as you can see, just colouring in a bit of her dress, like so. Let's 
I'm going to change my battery because it's flashing at me. Right, that's better. So, we've done some skin and we've done some of her dress. Um, what should we do? Um, I do like the dress and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Uh, the flowers orange and yellow because they would have had uh, contrasting the colours so I've got orange lake and we'll use brilliant yellow to make it nice and bright so the flowers will be so they would have had contrasting clashing colours Well, that doesn't really you know it, it does clash and it will be as I layer it up it will show up more so if I just do that to make it okay like that and what I'll do is I'll go around there in a minute when I've done the flower with the, with the button there which we will also do in a, a different shade of pink so we're just going over that so I will just get my Jalapa Pink or Japa Pink again and I'm just going to so you can see how bright that is now build up the colour of the pink around it I am putting a bit more pressure on and I'm still not getting any crumbling at all from these pencils which is wonderful so as you can see it's very very bright very which is, is what the 60s was the 60s was a very bright time and then what we'll do is we'll put brilliant yellow in the middle and that'll make it even more psychedelic, as you can see. Now, uh, you can do the dress any colour, really. I've just chosen this. We will be using um, other colours for various bits and pieces. We like to use a mixture of all. There we go. So, I will do the entire dress like that. Now, with the... As you see, she's got some furniture here. Now, their furniture... Let's have a look at the colour chart. So, um, I was looking for colours that I think red ochre, burnt ochre, red ochre, maybe burnt ochre. I think I used burnt and red ochre on it. Right. So there's going to be a lot of red and orange in this. I will use some blues and greens as well. So don't panic. We will get a fair representation of colours. So over here we're going to do this uh, swivel chair here. Because again, now there is a bit of crumbling there, but uh, that's fine. Just going to colour that in like that. We'll just do this top piece for now. These pencils are still very smooth and creamy. I am not having any issues with these at all. There's no scratchy. It's it just feels they just feel so nice in the hand. I don't understand why people find these pencils scratchy. Maybe I've just got a a good batch that doesn't that isn't scratchy. I don't, I don't know. So I'm just going over this, making it a bit darker. There we go. Then I'm going to take the red ochre, which is the ne one next to it. Right. And go over 
button and we'll just do some yeah that was a little break there I pushed a little bit hard I think we'll just do that bit there okay and then we'll go back over it and I'm just gonna make a note of swivel chair Red ochre, red ochre. It's just so that when I come to do it all, the rest of it, I know what colours I was using. And we'll just go over this again. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to build these layers up. I've got to be honest, it doesn't. Not at all. I've gone out a bit of the lines, but I'll hit that with the eraser later. So, there we go. That looks good. So, that's that colour. So, I think I'll do the other the other chair. I'll do that blue. So, that's sort of an office area or, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but so far, I'm really liking these pencils. Yeah, I'm just going to get done to the next layer and get a blue out for this chair. We're going to do this chair in blue and then I'll uh, be back. Okay, I hope the fan's not too noisy. I'm going to do her floor now. I'm going to give her a, uh, a black and white checkerboard floor, even though, hmm, they don't look like they're checks. Uh, there's a line down there. But there isn't anywhere else. It looks like it might be just wooden floorboards. But I'm actually going to have mine painted black. Because that's the kind of rebel I am. So I'm still going to do it sort of a... Uh, one line of black and... Uh, maybe a different... Or like grey and maybe a, a light blue. Well, it's black, but we'll just do it as grey and light blue. Just to see how this comes... The black takes. It's actually very nice. as you can see I'm only going to do a little bit of it and then I'm going to move on and show you the colour I'm going to do the walls while I've got a sharp point on this I'm actually going to give her some uh, eyeliner she's already got some eyeliner but I don't think it's really thick enough for my liking for the 60s look so I'm just going to do that actually Nice little, little wings. Now back in those days, although they would have used mascara, they wouldn't have put eyeliner on their bottom line. Just on their top. There we are. Let's give her a nice bit of a, a flick. So this is quite a detailed picture and it is taking quite a while to do. And it will do when I eventually stop the camera and go off to colour it all. Again, this black's a lovely, lovely colour. It's not scratchy at all. Yeah, I might go with a light blue there. Actually, I quite like that for the floor. You can't actually see it, but never mind. I'm useless. It's been one of those days. Uh, these videos do take a lot of putting together, to be honest, and this isn't all filmed in one go. It takes a bit of time to To, uh, decide what colours to use and it's finding time to fit this in around everything else. I've just been lucky I've had quite a few in the bag but now I am running out. And my battery's dead. I'll be back in a minute. I don't know which one's working either. There we go, battery changed. Let's carry on with this. Oh dear. I think I should just give up and no, we don't ever give up. We might take a break, but we don't give up. Okay. 
yeah these pencils are quite nice so I'm only going to do this one section they are that you could I could have done it because there's another line there but I'm going to do it like they're floor panels but, uh, it's fine it's fine like this I'll do the other one. So she's painted her floor black and a light blue, I think I'm going to go. Okay, and then now you'll find the colour I was going to use. Was it going to be that one or that one? There was a particular colour I wanted to use for the wall, and I can't remember what it was. I don't think it was that one. I think it was green gold. Mm. Yeah, this is quite a odd colour. Yeah, number 76 green gold. Is it this one? It is. I'm just going to give it a quick sharpen. At the moment, I'm using the Tegel, which puts a nice short point on it. So this is this one. This is green gold. It's a. They had funny colour walls back in the day. So we're just gonna do this wall, this colour. And they did. They had not so much patterned wallpaper at this point. In in the 70s, they had really horrendous wallpaper. And my mum and dad have got the photos to prove it. In fact, I have got them to prove it, but we're going to use this colour on the wall. So. As you see, it goes down absolutely beautifully. It's not too hard, it's not scratchy, it's really quite nice. I'm turning the pencil so that we're keeping a bit of a point on it. I think she's a fairly modern woman. I like that colour. I like the way that colour's going down as well. It's really nice. So, just checking the time. See, I got work tomorrow. That's fine. Okay, let's carry on. So we will do the whole wall down to here. Would be, this should be the baseboard, which would probably be painted a darker colour or white. The skirting. This green gold, I think it's really nice. So that's what colour we're going to do the walls. As you can see, that is a lovely colour, and I'll, as you can see, I've layered it up a bit here so it's a bit darker. And as you can see, if I put a bit more on this bit, it darkens it up even more. So we'll use that one for there. I'm just going to turn it around for now. Um, what else? So let's do. Let's find a nice light blue for this floor. So we want something like a. Oh, how about. I'm not sure. Let me just double check. Oh, cobalt turquoise, maybe. That's quite nice. Number 48. Could be over here somewhere. 48 is this one. Just a light blue. That is the same colour. Oh, well, 
similar colour to the sharpener. Nice little point on it. You put nice sharp points on and it doesn't use up so much of the um, colour. Hang on a sec, I've lost my plot. Excuse me, I've got a bit of wind. Grab it from tea. Okay, we come out of that. Right, so we're going to use this uh, blue, which is, I said it was cobalt turquoise, just to do this other. I'm actually going to do her eyes this colour as well, because it's a really nice blue. blue eyes. This one. Lovely. That is coming off very, very nicely. So with her tights, she would have probably worn white or opaque white tights. I don't know, I'm not big on the 60s, it's not my favourite decade, the 50s is more my thing. I just really wanted to do really pink and bright colours, so I picked this picture. So. so I'm going to turn that one around as well, I'm just going to have a look for pink. There we go, pink. even the darker flesh coloured. Now I'm going to go with rose pink. I oh, know azalea pink. Mm. Yeah, azalea. Which is number 82. I'm going to say that's in the next set down. So just find that. It'll be up here somewhere. That'll be this one next to Opera Rose. Azalea pink, yeah. Put a little sharp point on it. So just because she would have worn tights more than likely she wouldn't have had pale pink legs. Um, she might have. We're gonna put on, give her some pink, pale pink tights. skirt so it's not bare, she's not bare legged she's got tights on and I might even go over it with the flesh or and the white just to uh, a little bit so we're not gonna go too much over this just gonna give it a so we don't want it too dark but we do want it to cover her legs, so to speak. Like so just like that, and then we'll go and where did that come in there? I'm gonna get that flesh on here and just go over it a little tiny bit, just to give it a bit of the normal flesh colour coming through, like that, there we go. As you can see I'm not making sure I colour it properly, literally just going over it just so that there's a bit of flesh colour coming through the pink. And then I'm going to get titanium white, I believe that's what it's called, and go over that as well. So. And that should then blend it all in. Fine. 
I'm enjoying this one actually. <clears throat> I'm actually enjoying this picture more than I thought I would because like I said, I do like the 60s. I love the music but the clothing, some of it, this is nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do find her some hair, hair colour. What's that colour by Titanium White? Titanium White. It's Cadmium Yellow Deep. I like that colour. It's a really real orangey gold, or no, beautiful hairy gold. Um, colour. Coming in deep, yeah, it's nice. So what I'm going to do is just get a lighter colour, which is this one, which is Naples Yellow. So we've got two shades of yellow for her hair. I'm going to go and do her hair now. So she's got some jewellery on. Um, we'll have a look at that later. So I'm just going to give her a light dusting of Ow being poked by it. Naples yellow, which is a nice colour. You can't really see it. You can see it, but she's all her hair here. And again, I'm not going overboard with filling her hair. I am just getting it on there, trying to avoid her dress. I'm not sure what half of this is here, but I think that's all hair. If it's not, there's something weird going on. That's hair. It's got a bit of pink on it, but it is hair. And then we're going to go over it with the um, Cadmium Yellow Deep, which is a gorgeous colour. So obviously if I was colouring this picture the normal way I colour, I would do the dress. I'd have done all her skin, I would have done the, done the dress, then her hair and so on. I wouldn't do it in bits like this. But obviously we're just looking at how the pencils lay down and they are laying down beautifully. I, a lot of people say they don't like these pencils and I don't know why. They're very nice. I mean, yeah. I mean, I like the Black Widows more. But I think this set has got some fantastic colours. I think they're a lovely set of pencils. I would recommend them. I mean, as I said, I might be getting my mum some pencils for Christmas or because she's just started colouring. And I don't know, at the moment she's using my um, marker Rafines, or Rafines, if you want to say that. Um, but I said, if you enjoy it, I will get you some softer pencils because they are a harder pencil. They're not as hard as the one my dad bought. She said she does prefer the Marcos. Um, um, and I, I might well get her a set of these. I've got to be honest, I've got the feelers and I never use them. So I might give her those. Or again, there's something that Jennifer can have when she's a bit older. She likes markers at the moment, being a kid, you know what they like, they like bright colours. And so that is pretty much her hair done. I might do a bit more to it, but yeah, it's looking good. So I'm, I'm literally just turning around the colours that I'm, I'm using at the moment so that I know which ones, because um, when I stop I'll carry on colouring. I have written them down, but... Now, the ceiling looks like it's panelled so that would be wood panelling I'm thinking a burnt sienna and brown oak would go quite well together and they are together I think they're here yep brown ochre and burnt sienna um, and we'll just do them in separate stripes 
this will be the last bit I do now I mean I know I've got all the stuff in the background to do as well but you're getting a good idea now of how these pencils are laying down so all I'm going to do is every other of these panels I'm going to colour in uh, this colour which is the uh, burnt sienna and the one next to it I'm going to colour in in brown ochre and that's all I'm going to do so there's the one so I've done those two and I'm just layering it get it nice nicely coloured you can see I'm not pressing very hard um, I like these pencils I am going to say I would recommend them if you're on a budget and you didn't want to order the Black Widows because they all come separately in different sets and you wanted to buy a load this would work out cheaper because I think the Black Widows at the moment if you were to buy them all individually would cost around 80 quid so you're looking at the same sort of prices for the Artezas and these ones I think were 39.99 something like that anyway the price has probably changed now but that's what it was before so this is the brown ochre that I'm putting in next to it so it's a slightly darker brown just so that the panelling has different shading, different colourings and it'll just look more like the sort of wood panelling they would have had back then not necessarily on their ceilings but they did have it on their, their walls they might have had it lighter but I'm going to do it this colour like they might have had a golden wood rather than a, a darker brown wood like this one. I like that, that looks really nice actually. So yeah, like I said, I will just, uh, again, turn these two colours around so I know exactly which ones I'm using for this section. And I will start, what I'll do now is I will finish doing the bits I've done. So that, the wall, the floor, this chair and her and then I'll start filling in the rest of it um, and obviously I'm going to stop there and I'll show you what we've done so there's not a lot done really on here there's some of her dress I showed you her hair um, and that. so I'm going to go away and finish this picture and then I will come back and show you the finished product at the end so I won't be long see you in a minute it might actually be a week but you will actually see it in a minute okay so I finally finished the picture um, using the castle art pencils so what do I think of them are they any good let's have a look at the picture and see what we think it's not my favorite picture I wish I'd chose a different one just because there was so much going on in it and it took me a long time and um, there's some wax bloom but I don't mind that I quite like it it looks better now I'm looking back on it after having finished it um, there are some very good colours in the Castle Art set, I'm not going to lie, I love it. I will use them again. They're not going to replace my three favourite sets of pencils, which are Prismacolor, Polychromos and Black Widow. They're just not, they, they, they just don't cut it for me. Um, obviously Polychromos and Prismas are, are top end um, pencils anyway. Um, but my go-to pencils are the Black Widows. Um, just because they're quite cheap to replace. Saying that, I do think that the Castle Art um, ones are really nice. They sharpen well. I did have some that broke a bit and you can see on here it's got quite a, well, I don't know if you can actually see if it's going to focus but it's quite got a rough uh, thing I don't know whether that's my sharpener needing replacing um, so I will be buying some new sharpeners because I'm not one that can be bothered to change blades it's too fiddly I, I just buy the cheap Stedlitter metal ones and then replace them uh, as I've done but they are lovely pencils I am looking forward to colouring with them again I have done a few pictures with them um, now uh, but this was the main one to do as much as I can so I do like this picture I wish I'd chosen a different one because her dress took so long to do because of all the in and out of the flower petals and everything oh I thought it was never going to finish but I'm actually quite pleased with the way she turned out so yeah I'm really really pleased with it so yes they are worth buying if you can't afford um 
the Prismacolors or the Polychromas, and I know not everybody can, they are not cheap, then yes, they are definitely worth picking up. Absolutely. There's no question. I would absolutely recommend them. Um, they are also cheaper than the Arteza, and they're also, which I haven't tested yet, I have got them now to, to um, have a go with, and that'll be coming up fairly soon. Uh, but yes, though, so, or if you don't want to buy the Black Widows because they're in separate sets because there's no one big set now whether or not they'll bring them out as one big set I don't know you can get open stock with Black Widows you can't with Castle Arts at the moment I do believe uh, like Arteza it is something they're looking at trying to overcome and um, I would say that if they do start producing the pencils open stock then they would be a definite good buy be just simply because there are some fantastic colours in there as you can see I've used as many different colours as I can for the books and the the clock and, and the bowl and the, the table and different colours and yeah I really like I do like them I do actually like them they sharpen to a nice point and for a budget pencil they are well worth picking up so that's what I think the castle are what do you think did I do all right with them um yeah and there we go there is uh, the tin so yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this very long video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.